Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a pop-up menu and how to create a slice. Uh, a slice is very similar to a hotspot. It's a layer that goes above your images. It's the HTML content that you would later export into Dreamweaver. And pop-up menus are also active HTML content. They allow you to create sub-menus for your navigation buttons. So again, they're not actually part of your image. All of this is just writing HTML code that you'll be able to see when it's put into a web browser. So I'm going to go back to my really simple navigation bar that we created earlier with the hotspots. Um, and all of these right now have um, active layers over them for HTML. So I've already done that step. If I wanted to perhaps make a new button that didn't have HTML content over it, I could do that just by making a new shape. Um, I'm going to put some text on here. I'm just going to call it new button. A little big. And um, I'm going to hold down shift so I have both of these selected and I'm just going to group them together so they're now the same um, object. And the way I would make this active is just go to edit, insert, and um, I'm just going to put a rectangular slice on it. So this makes active web content over my slice so that I can create a pop-up menu over it. Okay. I'm going to choose the one that says buy this to create my pop-up menu, but I could really create any one of these, um, use any one of these and create a pop-up menu. When you create a pop-up menu, you go to modify, pop-up menu, and then add pop-up menu. And I'm going to create a list of things you might possibly buy on this website. Um, so I'm typing the word clothing and hitting enter. And then I'm going to put a shirt, pants, enter, and a socks, enter. Every time I hit enter, it creates a new row, but I can also create new rows by just hitting add. It doesn't really matter. If I want shirt to be another category under clothing, I just indent one. Same with pants, same with socks. Now here I'm going to uh, put in shoes, enter, uh, boots, sandals, tennis shoes. And I want these to be uh, subcategories of shoes. When I click Next, I can change the appearance of this. I can change the text. Um, I can change the size. I can change whether I want it to be bolded or centered. I can change the up state and the over state. Remember, up is normal. Over is what it looks like when you roll over the image. I'm going to keep everything as is for right now. Um, I would probably keep everything as is for um, this function, but if you wanted to play with it, you could change the borders of the table that pops up, the shadows or the highlights, um, cell padding and spacing. You'll learn a little bit more about cell padding and spacing when we get into Dreamweaver. And this, I think, is important. You want to choose your menu position. I want my menus to pop up on the top right of my scale and I want my submenus to also pop up on the top right. So you can just select by picture. And then I select done and it shows me roughly where my pop-up menu will come up. There should be a little faint blue line linking from the center of this navigation button with the dial over to the right 
which shows me where my two categories will show up. Since this is active content, you have to preview it in your browser. You can either go to File, Preview in Browser, or you can just click Preview. Okay, when I roll over the new button, nothing happens. When I roll over, click here, it turns blue because we chose that earlier. Oh, and it looks like I do have to preview it in the browser. Alright, so again, this button turns blue. When I click on Buy This, my sub menu shows up. And I click on, or I roll over clothing. And I now have three options, shirt, pants, socks, and I click on shoes, and then I can choose boots, sandals, tennis. So that's the way that you would create a um, pop-up menu. Useful if you have several buttons and you want to save some space and you don't want a big long list on your navigation bar. Alright, I'm going to close out of this. Go back to fireworks. Now if I want to do any editing of my menu, all I have to do is double click right where my pop-up menu would be. And now I can change anything about this. One thing we might want to do is I didn't create links yet. So if I'm linking my shirt option to a certain web page, I might want to type in here just shirt.htm. Uh, pants. This is the address where I want to buy pants. Buy pants.htm. Okay, these would all be linked to actual addresses of pages, or yes, of web pages that you've already created. So if you're just playing around with pop up menus, you probably don't want to add the links yet, but this is where you would add the links for each one of those. And you have to go through um, each of the menus again for changing color, position. And when you click done, this time if you were to preview it in your browser, it would actually lead you to specific web pages.